Look who's joined us, the former light heavyweight world champion, Glover Teixeira. Welcome to the show, sir. Great to see you. Um, I want to start by talking about something that we've been talking about all week, about the speed of which Alex Pereira has taken to MMA. Has his development from kickboxing into MMA surprised you? Yes, big time. You know, uh, he's willing to, to work and, and to do the things and to drill. And he's the kind of guy, he's a soldier when he's in a mission. And I think that's very important. And also, you know, the athletic ability, the strength that he has, uh, it all helps, all help to put together. If he gets the job done on Saturday night, that's going to be four UFC champions that he's beaten in a very short career. I mean, that is, it's insane. What, what do you put that success down to? Well, I just, uh, just give all to him, man. You know, like, uh, he got, we, we, we put the work with him, but the, like I say, the ability for him to, to learn, Excuse me, this guy is crazy. I'm telling him, he has no life. You know, all he does is like looking video, looking fight video, studying video. Obsessed. You know? Obsessed, really obsessed about the fight game. And uh, that's the reason why uh, mm. he's so successful. He's already achieved so much, Glover, obviously. Glory, kickboxing hall of fame. Now mm. in the UFC, title within just three, four fights. Now we can win a second title in the second weight division in 11 professional fights. It's insane stuff. and. You know, it's about time we start putting some respect on his name and saying, is this the greatest athlete we've ever seen in fight sports? Is that where we're getting with Alex? He's up there. He's up there, one of, one of, one of the very best uh, uh, fighters, right, in, in, in the world. Uh, I mean, he proved it. He, seven times, uh, eight times, I think, world champion kickboxing, and he went back right and fought, he beat one of the best middleweights of all time, uh, Israel Desanya. And, uh, it, it, you know, the weight cut was rough for 185, and he finally made that decision to move. I was happy about it. And now we're ready, man. We're ready to, to make history, get that, that title again, the, the light heavyweight. You've had experience, obviously, of being in the uh, octagon with Yiri. What are the challenges that Alex will be facing on Saturday night? Uh, the movement. I think uh, Jiri is uh, un unpredictable. He moves a lot, and, uh, and also he is, uh, he's a guy that... He, he, he keep the fight, he make the fight, like uh, he brings the fight to you, you know, Jiri, that's why w my fight with him was one of the, the best fight of the year mm. because, uh, uh, you know, it's his, his Daniel face and I think that's what uh, the main thing that Alex is going to have, the, the strongest point of Jiri, the, the, the movement and the constantly pressure, mm. constantly make you fight, you know. What kind of fight or approach from Yiri are you expecting? Because, you know, he's fought a lot of good wrestlers. You know, he's fought some jiu-jitsu guys. So what do you expect from Yiri? Uh, it's hard to expect something. For, he's a, for he's a wild man. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's, you know, I, I, we believe that... It's, it, because the problem with Alex is his power and his timing. Mm. He got the speed, but the timing, man. He's so smart and he's so good with timing. And I, uh, I believe that uh, Jiri will clinch him and will try to go for, for the ground. Because if you stay too much in, in front of Alex, Alex will catch him. Yeah. He'll catch everybody. We've just seen, seen Alex step on the scales moments ago. 204, comfortably inside championship weight. Nice to see him looking healthy on the scales for a change of mm -hmm. light heavyweight. As a coach, you mentioned it earlier, you're, you're delighted he's moved up to this weight division. It must be, you know, give you a bit more comfort seeing him. Instead of killing himself to make 185, he's actually able to, you know, be a little bit more full, bit of a smile on his face, be happier at this weight division. Yes, man. As a, as a friend, not even as a coach, as a friend, I wanted him to, <laughs> to move up. I, I couldn't see him anymore uh, cutting that much weight. We, we, uh, I thought it was too much. I thought eventually, with a long time, will will affect your career, your, your lifestyle. Yeah, cutting that much weight all the time, and I'm super happy that he's in a weight this weight class, and that's his natural weight class, man. And he's happy. He's ready to go, man. And just to finish, how much are you enjoying this role of uh, of coaching him? and helping Alex achieve what he wants to achieve. I'm enjoying, man. I'm enjoying every minute of it, you know, enjoying when I was fighting and uh, I'm living a, a great life, man. Thank God. Are you like a father that's living vicariously through his son? You know, because you're still around, <laughs> uh -huh. you still get the buzz, you still get the thrill, you're still here, you still get to talk to these guys, you know? Yeah, I mean, it, it, being a game, yes, uh, I love it. You know, I love, yeah. uh, I, I got it much lots because I love this, I love everything about it. And, um, yeah, man, just, uh, I don't know, just uh, the work, you know, I wanted to, this is what I wanted to do, 
that's my purpose right now is to pass it on what uh what i can you know i see like guys like you and uh, and guys like alex they have so much views and so much followers they can they can motivate people in a, in a social media. I'm a little bit less a social media guy, but I'm more action in my gym and trying to, yeah, to yeah. build up the kids. And, and this is my passion. And I love to be part of this, 100%. Well, it's great to see you. Well, great to see you. And we're all looking forward uh, to the main event, of course. Uh, on Saturday night, TNT Sports 1 and Discovery Plus. Make sure you tune in for that main card that gets underway from three with Alex Pereira taking on Yuri Plahachka.